If you are looking for getting more ultimate team coins, instead of buying them with real money, go to the auction market and trade. It's more rewarding, cheaper and pretty easy to do as well. Hey guys, Slamfer92 here again today with another player review from one of the team of the season players. This time it is a player from the Belgium Pro League and as you can probably already guess, it is going to be team of the season Kuyate, 74 overall rated, ridiculously expensive on this game. He's very, very rare. I think there currently are around five of him on the market. Paid 1,184,000 coins for him. Six for three tall, three star weak for two star skill moves, but not too important on the center back there playing him with proto and kanu nay then the left back is mbenge then the center midfielders are Sertik, sisoko and ramirez from chelsea and then up front ben arfa the puppies dembasi c and dimitri payet the team of the season version so a pretty nice team overall and his card face stats are ridiculously good for a silver player 87 in pace there 80 defending and 84 heading also not too bad passing and dribbling as well so very high rated player overall then 85 acceleration 91 sprint speed in game so as you can probably already notice his card face pace should actually be 88 he's also got 82 in jumping which is very nice for a player of his height he's six for three tall and 93 strength in game which is just ridiculous combined with that pace not many players on this game have that kind of combination then 84 aggression and 82 interceptions is always of course very very nice and pretty high once again for a silver player especially there and now looking at his skill stats which of course aren't too good on a silver player there but 84 standing tackling is very nice 81 heading accuracy is good as well pretty decent mark getting also good short passing and surprisingly good short power not the best in slide tackling but he performs better than that in my opinion in game so i'm actually going to show you around about 20 clips i think with him or just winning headers or winning interceptions uh kind of running duels with fast strikers and so on and just intercepting the ball overall some slide tackles in there as well and um, really difficult to find yeah rather exciting clips with a center back um i had to look quite a bit through the footage i had there but in the end i have found some clips and uh, now talking about him he is just a very very good center back on this game i played him in division one simply because i wanted to try him out against yeah yeah kind of sweaty players and also players who have good teams and he is a very very good first of all he's extremely fast uh, once he gets to that 91 sprint speed and then of course on full chemistry that will even increase more he's ridiculously fast to be perfectly honest and it's just a pleasure to yeah watch him run after Ekbon Lahoa and nearly catching up with him as you could see in one of the earlier clips this is of course very very nice and uh, he even can defend extremely well against gold strikers and gold players in general as well but of course if you build him in a full silver team he will probably be yeah unbeatable in my opinion because of the with the combination of pace and strength as you could see earlier 93 strength in game is ridiculously good especially once again for a silver player there um his marking wasn't too good from time to time and especially of course his positioning but that's kind of the yeah only problem with silver players on this game in my opinion that their positioning sometimes lags a little bit he's got medium medium work rates i think which also lets him down a little bit he would have got of course have wished for a higher defensive work rate than his attacking work rate but anyways with the pace with the good interceptions with the good tackling in general he can basically get back at any opponent striker and he's just a wonderful player to use on this game however he's of course very expensive and i'm not too sure if the difference between this card and his non-inform actually is too huge so you might as well just go for the normal one because this one is really expensive especially of course for a silver player so now let's finally talk about the pros and cons on the team of the season Kuyat. So let's start off with the pros. First of all, of course, his extremely high pace with 87 pace on his card. That's one of the highest pace stats on a center back you can get on this game. Also very solid defending combined with good interceptions, good standing tackling and also not too bad sliding tackling. He's got very good jumping, good heading accuracy and combined with his height with a 6 foot 3 is always a very, very good combination. And he's overall a very, very solid center back in my opinion. The only con I could really think about him and that was yeah, mainly pick on him just because i wanted to find a con for this video are his medium medium work rates and sometimes his positioning he was a little bit too far up the pitch of course just in my opinion played eight games with him so overall he's a really really good center back and if you ever can yeah, get the chance to play with him and have a lot of coins and just want to spend them on a yeah, rather special card then 
feel free to try him out. He's a very, very good player on this game. As usual, I'm not going to list his price as a con simply because it hasn't too much to do with the card itself, but with the card weight EA set on him. And he's basically as expensive as he is because of his rarity on the market. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review on the team of the season, Kuyate. If you did so, please drop a like rating on this video. This always does help me and my channel out massively. So other than that, thanks a lot for watching and for listening to the whole commentary, guys. And I will talk to you later.